Hello guys, my name is Kiki and it's time to make crafting fun! Let's make a beautiful sign and for that I'm using this sign that I found at Walmart and I'm gonna remove that twine and I tried to remove the bow because I thought that was just part of that and it isn't, it's glued. <laughs> so I just cut it and removed it and then I'm gonna take black paint and I'm gonna paint that sign using the black paint. We're gonna try to cover as much as we can from that to hope that you can see in the sign. We want to create the same effect like chalkboard type of effect but we need to cover that because this sign was on clearance at Walmart and I really liked it but well to hold is not cute on the kitchen. <laughs> so we just covered that using the black paint like that and then we're gonna take white paint and we're gonna add that snow white paint onto the brush or sponge brush and then we're gonna start blending that black paint with that white paint like this so it looks like a sauce kind of chalkboard you know when you sauce it with the chalk that's the effect that I wanted <laughs> so we're gonna continue just applying that white paint like that until we have it like this really beautiful and looking like a chalkboard then we're gonna let it dry really nicely but while that's drying I'm gonna take this arrow and I'm gonna use antique wax and I'm gonna paint that arrow used in the antique wax for that I'm just gonna take a sponge brush like we did and we're gonna start applying it to the front to the sides and to the back of the arrow now let me show you that I'm just using the side of my sponge brush to make that beautiful color because if you use the tip of that paintbrush or sponge brush you will get a darker shade of that antique wax and that's not what we're trying to get here and as you can see my camera was acting out <laughs> now let's continue just painting that like that and as you can see as we are using the whole sponge it just blends really nicely and it looks beautiful. After we finish with the top, we're gonna paint the sides like this. And when we finish with those sides, we're gonna paint also the back of the arrow. Let me just paint it so you can see that we're covering everything really nicely. And this arrow is from the Dollar Tree. You can get an arrow or maybe use the other part of the sign that we used from Walmart. But I wanted the arrow. <laughs> so after that, as I said, flip it over, paint it. Now we have it. And now we're going to take those letters and we're going to paint them using Snow White from Apple Barrel. And what I'm doing is I'm just giving a good coat of that paint. I'm just going to apply one coat because it doesn't need another coat. Those letters are really really light in color so with one coat you will have them. <laughs> so after that we paint them completely like this. We let them dry and then we're gonna take our board and we're gonna write kitchen. And I just love to do this before I start just painting those the letters because it's a lot easier. For the letters, we're going to use Snow White from Apple Barrel also. And we're going to start painting them like this. And as you can see, I'm just painting those letters, making them beautiful and taking my time to get them how I want them. And we're going to continue just doing this until we cover all of our beautiful sign. And this is part of the Sign Wednesday hosted by three of my beautiful friends, Jenny and Diane from Deco Easy and Lini from Crafty Lini. In the description box down below, you're going to find the link to the playlist and also to both of their channels so you can go and check them out. I know you're going to love them and also check out the playlist because I know you're going to find lots of beautiful things. Remember that if you like modern farmhouse bow decor and lots of silly jokes, that's what I do here. So subscribe and hit the thumbs up and share this video with a friend because that really helps to support my channel. 
Also, go and check me out on my social media because we can be friends over there and have lots and lots of fun. Now let's paint those letters and I'm just making the K and I'm going to take my time with this. So yeah, you will watch me make those letters. If you have any issues just painting on letters, my best trick to do that is just to place or anchor my wrist onto something. And as you can see, I'm anchoring my wrist on my, that's my desk. <laughs> I was going to say table, but that's my desk. <laughs> so just anchor your wrist into onto something and then you will have beautiful lines. And the other tip, as you saw me, before it's to write them before you start painting them that way you will be happy with the letters that you will be painting and as you can see i just go back and forward just making those letters look beautiful you won't get beautiful letters at first so you have to keep on practicing and just adding lines to those to get them straight and beautiful as you can see, my C isn't looking so steep. <laughs> it was a little bit crooked. <laughs> so I just fixed it. And we're going to continue just doing that. And as you can see, I'm just adding a little bit more of that paint on the lines that go down. And the lines that are in the bottom are staying really thin. I think that adds a little bit something extra to my sign. And if you know me, you know I love extra. <laughs> so I'm going to continue just fixing my sign and painting it like this. And as you can see, we are making a kitchen sign. I'm so in love with this. And I really needed a sign so everyone knows where I'm hiding. <laughs> yeah, I hide there. It doesn't matter if I'm cooking or not. I'm hiding there grabbing something to eat <laughs> now we're gonna attach our letters to our arrow like this and we're just gluing them down using my favorite gorilla glue sticks just to glue them to the arrow and as you can see I always play a lot with my letters <laughs> so after that we will have a beautiful arrow now let's attach this arrow to the kitchen sign for that, I'm just going to flip it over like this. Then I'm going to cut that twine that the arrow has in the middle like that. And I'm going to grab my staple gun and I'm going to staple those pieces of twine to the top sign. And as you can see, it's pretty easy. And then we cut the excess, flip it over, and we have a beautiful sign. Now let's add the twine back to the top sign. And for that, I'm just struggling with this, so let me cut a little bit more. And then we're going to make knots in the front, and that will be it. We will have a beautiful hanging sign. Here we have it, and it is beautiful. And I'm so in love with this because the kitchen is this way. But it doesn't matter if I'm not cooking, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going there to get something to eat. <laughs> And here you have it. This is how it turned out. Remember that in the description box down below, you're going to find the link to the playlist and also to Jenny and Diane's channel, Deco Easy, and Lini's channel, Crafty Lini. So you can go and check out the playlist and also check them out. I know you're going to love what you will find in the playlist and on their channels. And remember that if you like this type of content, hit the thumbs up, share it with a friend, that really helps to support my channel. And if you love it, subscribe because you can keep on watching this type of videos. Take care, my beautiful friends. Bye-bye.